Okay, we're with Darl and the organizer of Indie Week and Indie Week Ireland. First of all, Darl, after the second night in Dublin, after having a first successful night in Dublin, are you happy with the two winners? Absolutely. Uh, it was a really tough competition. Uh, we had eight great bands, and uh, very happy with the way things ran overall. And uh, great crowds, great bands. Can't ask for much more. Competition was a huge success. Huge success. Uh, tonight, I'd say the bar was raised. Uh, the bands really showed up to perform their best, and it was really tough. And uh, thankfully, I had really great judges uh, taking part. Is it uh, what you expected it to be, the Irish music scene? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I'd say even a, a little more so. I, I'd say uh, a lot. Of, it, it's an actual scene where bands know each other, bands are helping each other out, networking, and uh, I'd say that there's a definite scene here. Yeah. Absolutely. Is there any major difference between Canada and Ireland? Professionalism, maybe? Uh, well, it, 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 in a couple of senses. Uh, Toronto, I, I'd say there's like tons of bands there, and it's a very vicious scene, uh, or lack of scene. It's a lot of dog eat dog, band, each band for themselves. Uh, and I'd say, as a result, uh, there is a higher professionalism in Toronto for a lot of the bands, but uh, there's, I, there's a, I'd say there's a really happening scene here, and, and collectively, it's it's very interesting to see what's going to happen in the next two years. What's in store for the bands who have won? Uh, well, I'm meeting with them this week, and uh, I'm going to go through a lot of the details with them. But essentially, they've uh, solidified a spot in Toronto Indie Week uh, this year. It's uh, going to be an Irish showcase, and so we're. Uh, Excited! This is the first time we've actually had a, an actual international showcase at Indie Week, and Ireland's the first one. So, what's the long-term goal of your Open Beyond? Uh, well, long-term goal. Uh, I'd like to sort of see this spread up for sure in different territories. Um, but I'd say, you know, I just want to take this in and build on on the success of, of this year's uh, Indie Week Ireland, and uh, it's already talks about next year. Uh, I'll ask you one last question. Um, sure. The future of Vestavaro, where do you see him? Well, big. Uh, I'm, every time I see that band, they, they just keep getting better and better. And uh, I see a reaction in the crowds, I see a vibe, I see excitement. Um, I, I couldn't have been happier with uh, them as a winner from last year. And that's it? No, that's one uh, time manager? Sorry? That's it, it's just now uh, you're managing one band and you're giving others kind of a chance to spread the wings in Canada? Uh, absolutely, oh yeah. Uh, well, the, the one thing that, you know, to note is, you know, when Vestavaro came over, nobody knew who they were. And they played a few shows and people started coming to see them because they started to know who they were or heard about them. So. I think it's a great opportunity for bands to get exposure in a different market, come back and use that to their advantage to um, promote themselves and use that to leverage themselves to a higher level in their own market. And I think it's a great opportunity. Well, thanks so much. I'd just uh, like to congratulate you on the success because I've seen a lot of uh, music competitions like this and just there, was, there wasn't the void, there wasn't the energy, there wasn't the will to win it, you know, it was more of a, a dream culture rather than, Joe, we can win this in both places, so congratulations. Great, thank you so much. No problem.